Now, before we get started, I want to share a huge, amazing thing. You know, we are running, which is community classroom blogging challenges. I'll keep it short. Just write a blog and share it as it's mentioned over here. You can add the hashtag blogs with CC on your hash note blog. And that's it. We'll help you uh, in promoting that blog, share it on our socials, and we'll also give away some prizes and swag as well. So for this month, we're giving away Casio GSOC. And there's also a special topic. If you can write a blog where you will share your university experience. This is not a tech blog. This is nothing as such, but you can make it according to yourself. We would be giving away a Keychron keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, very popular around the world. It's really good. Um, so we'll be giving this away for free. Okay, it's a very nice mechanical keyboard. So all you have to do is go to Hashnode, write a blog on sharing your university experience. What was your university experience like or your high school experience if you're in high school. If you have not graduated yet, then for now, whatever experience you have had, what you learned, just make it personalized. You know? We want to hear your story, make it have, you know, make it fun also. And you can hear other stories. So when you have uh, from, uh, like when you upload it on Hashnode on your own account, okay, you can add the hashtag blogs with CC so that we can find it, right? And then we can reach out to you. And that's it. Um, you can share it on socials as well. You can tag Hashnode and Community Classroom. We will help promote it. We'll send you some swag. We will give you some nice prizes. If you want to win a G-Shock, these are the tracks you can take part in. So write a blog in any of these tracks. You can take part in. You can write as many blogs as you want. So yeah. So you may be asking, Gunal, what is this URL? It's comclassroom.org slash Ash node and you can find you can also find this link in the description below hey everyone welcome back to another video and today we're talking about a roadmap for third year prerequisites include watch the roadmap to first year and second year videos and um, whenever you're following such videos that give you roadmaps always check out the experience of the person what they themselves did because there are a lot of clickbaits on this. So my LinkedIn can be found in the description below. You can check out my LinkedIn. If you feel like I did not do anything in college life, then you don't need to watch this video. All right. So I like to structure these videos in two ways. Way number one is I try to give you the intuition behind it that this particular roadmap thing that I'm mentioning, it is not the only thing. The reason there are millions of developers in the world. Everyone has a different story. So in this, in this video, I basically share my point of view and also how you can explore and find your own story. Okay. So it's not like a roadmap roadmap. It's basically like the thought process and some of the best practices that would make easy, make you, you know, your college life fun also. Okay, point number one. Point number two is I structure these videos according to follow-ups to previous videos. So this video is divided into two parts. Part number one is for people who have done good things in their first year and second year. Studied and everything and things that I mentioned in the first year and second year roadmap video, which you can find in the description below, right? And um, the second part of this video is for people who have done nothing in their first year and second year. Okay, did nothing in your first year and second year, this video is for you. Okay, how to utilize third year of college life without wasting any other any, any more time. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the first part first. Um, first part is people who have done good things in their first year and second year. Okay, if you want to learn more about what to do in your first year, second year, you can watch that roadmap video I did. So what is the theme of third year? You do your internships. So you prepared for your internship second year, whatever you got your internship and everything. And now you're doing your internship. Okay, no worries. Now, the theme of third year is after your internship and everything is done, preparing for placements. This is can happen in three ways. Way number one is the internship that you did. You will get a pre-placement offer from that, which is great. You can do that. The second one is on-campus placements. So for that, your college would be able to guide you best. So take guidance from your college people for that who have already gotten good on-campus placements. Point number three is off-campus, which is what I am expert in. So I'll share about that. So here you have to do a few things. You have to regularly practice data structures algorithms. Definitely there are many companies, mostly in remote, they won't ask you data structures. Okay. They will focus on your own experience and what the job demands, projects and every other thing, your knowledge related to the tech stack and the field that you are applying to. So it does not mean you will stop data structures algorithms because many companies do ask it as well. Like fang type companies, they ask lead code type questions. So definitely don't skip it. Better be safe than sorry. Better be prepared than sorry. So practice data structure algorithms regularly. Don't be like, oh, I have my interview coming up. I will do data structure algorithms during that time. I made a video on this why, you know, DSA sheets are a waste of time and how I cleared my Google interviews and my Google recruiter talk and how to use lead code efficiently. These four videos you can watch. It will help you. So practice DSA 
very straightforward no elaboration needed on that part okay now preparing for placements off campus um, apply okay apply so whenever you apply off campus obviously people will look at your profile okay they will see what this person has done many people do this via referrals also they know someone from a company they apply which is great definitely recommend doing that also if you know someone from a company who can vouch for you go for it open source plays a very crucial role in this open source help you in building your profile and your you know all these other things so in addition to data structure algorithms try to contribute to open source or if you don't want to do open source that's fine um, you can represent your skills in other ways like make projects go to hackathons or whatever and just you know provide value create content blogging is great for that um, speaking at tech events i would recommend doing that just build credibility is what i'm saying okay build credibility like people should know okay this person works in web development yeah i agree they they do work in web development because their github is very nice they answer all these technical questions in conferences and talks and everything so yeah they are not boasting about it they definitely know web development so build credibility in your like third year as well okay apply to job places apply a lot uh, you will get a lot of rejections that's fine all you need to do is get at least one good acceptance so apply to a lot of places ask for referrals and last point is um, second last point is network with people also go to events network with people build your brand is the last point i want to mention keep building your brand i started about building your brand in like the second second um second year itself but the the point i want to mention over here is building your brand does not mean gain a lot of huge following or twitter followers or whatever no you can also have a great brand with a 100 200 300 followers you don't have to have 1 lakh followers on twitter or linkedin what i mean by building a brand is credibility people look at you they'll be like oh so much great thing this person has done spoken at conferences nice projects contributions definitely do not mind giving them an, an interview at least after that the interview you know that depends on you build your brand brand does not mean following brand means credibility that's good tweet that okay that's a nice one you can tweet that all right so that's basically about people who have followed and good done good things in first year second year now for people who have done nothing in first year and second year okay done nothing no nothing no internships no resume is empty and everything is empty okay um hate to break it to you 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 should have utilized your college years but no worries third year you have no no internships nothing try to you now you have to focus on you have, you have to grind a little bit okay so obviously data structure algorithms you can check out my bootcamp for that link in the description below um keep doing data structure algorithms a little by little every day also have a specific period of your day dedicated to development okay now it's, it can be anything just basically build things okay do some real world stuff um web development mobile machine learning uh, like devops and, and stuff um some people are into web3 now or whatever so whatever you want to do to something in development okay after that the four things sorry the three things profile your credibility networking and applying to jobs these three things you need to do okay do this in any order but i would recommend building your profile first you can definitely apply to jobs still but if you have a good profile if you have a good credibility that would make it easy again it does not mean followers it means credibility so these three things you have to do same same as what i mentioned for the first group of people in this video okay that same thing you have to do but again you would have to study a little bit harder because you have done nothing in the first two years and you have to prep for placements now so you have one year to prep for not even one year 6 7 months to prep for placements okay so about the problem that you don't have anything to put on your resume no internships and nothing how do you solve that projects you can make projects you can put that on your resume you can do community work you can start blogging and all these other things right you can do open source i think that's great you can take part in events hackathons and all these other things i think that would help you four things i told you last thing is you can apply to internships at startups because they don't have a particular thing like oh we are only hiring during this time or that time so see who is hiring during the time that you want the internship apply over there many of them offer like in india they offer six month internship programs apply to those and that's it yeah i talked about everything and that's basically about it you explore you you know build the credibility part then you will explore your own road map okay you will meet people they will help you and as such so yeah uh, build your brand when i mean you know build your credibility uh, get involved in global communities that will help you go remote remote jobs are great um you have the skills you will get the job as simple as that last but not least make sure you comment down below if you have any thoughts like share this video and uh, share a summary you can also share by the way this summary 
in the hash node blogging challenges right so you can reach out to you for uh, you know you can share your own uh, college experience that i mentioned at the start of this video you have some amazing prizes to give away and some swag so yeah thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one do take part in the hash node challenges and yeah have a great day make sure you like share and subscribe and comment <laughs>